Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at a classic from back in the day, the IWC Da Vinci Perpetual Calendar Chronograph Reference 375030. This is part of a bumper crop from IWC in the late 80s through the early 90s when they embraced every complication from the Rattrapont to the Perpetual Calendar, the Minute Repeater, the Torbion, heck, in the Destriero Scafusia of the early 1990s, they embraced all four in one watch. But there was just an outpouring of complication from IWC as it recovered from the heart of the quartz crisis and emerged as one of the leading luxury watchmakers in the market for the 90s to the present. Now, you can see the watch 39 millimeters in stainless steel is extremely distinctive. The combination of a perpetual calendar, automatic winding, a moon phase, and a chronograph in a single reference is what you might expect of a Vacheron Constantin, a Blanc Pain, yes, a Patek Philippe, but IWC executes it with the kind of durability and sensible feature set, everyday usability, that is more characteristic of their tool and utility watches than high complications, and yet it's all here in one package. Now the watch features the unique hinge lug. This was voguish at IWC during the late 1980s, as the luxury watch as a type coalesced as the heart of the mechanical watch renaissance. IWC wanted to experiment with different styles, in particular the Da Vinci's were their most avant-garde, and by recovering some vintage styles in combination with modern combinations of complication, IWC hoped to establish itself as a point of reference within the luxury watch market, and they certainly made their mark. Now, this watch was a long-running success. It debuted in 1988. It ran until 2003, so it's a well-loved reference, but not all examples feature this stunning combination of polished stainless steel with the black dial and that is the heart and soul of this watch even more than the incredible combination and value of all those complications in one package it's the combination of the white metal steel the purest's choice with the black dial now all of my watches personally feature this combination and if you look on the vintage and collectible circuit right now black dials and white metal are red hot if you're looking for an IWC that could be potentially a long-term keeper Pay attention to this review because this is an excellent candidate. A well-loved watch, it is nevertheless not a common one. And as you can see, it wears well. The hinge lugs are a fantastic ergonomic feature. Now, they allow the strap to be integrated more or less seamlessly with the case flank. You can see that there's really no gap. And because the hinges are double articulated, there is a spring pin at the strap and a spring pin where the hinge joins the case proper. It has the ability to conform very tightly to a smaller wrist and bend straight down if need be without hula hooping or overlapping. And also because of those hinge lugs, even though this is a 39 millimeter watch, it has the wrist presence of a larger timepiece. And that's the advantage of the visual mass, the broad shoulders created by those hinge lugs. Although a vintage style, it works to good modern effect by making the watch read as larger than it really is. Ergonomically, however, it wears true. As a 39, it's incredibly wieldy. It's not terribly thick in spite of the phenomenal hamburger of complications in there between the automatic winding, the perpetual calendar, the chronograph, the moon phase, and the base movement. Uh, the IWC, now this is a IWC perpetual calendar. It's known as the 79601 caliber. It is nevertheless quite refined and not excessively thick. The watch is only about 14 and a half millimeters thick. It's got a lot of charming aesthetic features from the stepped bezel that again makes it read just a little bit larger and adds visual interest to the case to those gorgeous mushroom pump pushers. Everything about this watch is incredibly distinctive of the reference. This is one of those models that will never be mistaken for anything else. There are watches, your dive watches, your standard Calatrava style dress watches, even some of your oversized chronographs that could be confused at an arm's length. Was that an Hublot? Was that an AP? Was that a Calatrava? Was it a JLC Master? Was that a Submariner? Was it a Super Ocean? This watch has so much personality, and it is a very strong personality, that it will never be anonymous. Although, you will have to field a lot of questions because not everyone knows what this watch is, so you are going to have to be a bit of an advocate for the type. And you know what? I found that the kind of guy who's interested in a watch like this, a deep collector's piece, 
will love talking about it and answering intelligent questions, and that is generally the only type this watch spurs. It flies under the radar. You're never going to get that, ah, is that a real Rolex? You're just going to get the connoisseurs, the people who know watches, and the people who earnestly desire to know watches. Now, there's a lot going on here. I'm not going to lie. Beyond the case, beyond the lugs, beyond the essential aesthetic minutia of the pushers and the bezel, the dial itself is massively calibrated, and we could almost have a review of the dial per se. But the key features are the complete calendar, and what a complete calendar. Day, date, and month, IWC, which invented the modern perpetual calendar module from 1985 on, also includes a four-digit date. Now, the date includes the century, the decade, and the year. And IWC, being a German-Swiss company, they are Let's just say they're the types to plan ahead. This watch comes with what's known as the Century Slide, a spare part encased in a glass vial sealed by wax that actually, actually allows you to upgrade this to the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th centuries when the time comes. You know, being prepared. It's a uniquely German trait, but one that the owners of this fine timepiece, designed to last, will no doubt appreciate. Now, the chronograph is also a unique feature of this watch because as complicated as it is with that remarkable calendar and the romantic moon phase at 12 o'clock, the most accessible and dynamic complication is going to be the start, stop, and reset of the chronograph. And it's beautifully rendered with this chronograph second stick hand with a beautiful, almost moon-style counterweight. It's a slightly off-centered circle that simul simultaneously creates the look of a half moon or a, a sliver moon crescent. Beautiful to see and thoughtful in its detailing, it complements the whole quite well. The watch is sporty in the sense that the white metal and the black dial are a versatile setup. If this were white metal or gold and silver, I would say this would be a pure dress watch. But even as Baroque, maybe even Rococo as these hinge lugs are, the watch wears with great versatility. This is a watch that you can wear casually. It's not necessarily one to take in the pool. In fact, I would strongly discourage against getting this type of watch wet, but it does have the ability to sort of shift gears and move from formal situations to the informal. This is the perpetual calendar chronograph moon phase that you can wear in almost any occasion. And because it's a discrete size, it's always worn in good taste. Now the bottom line is there's not a whole lot going on on the case back, although it does recall something of a more romantic era when IWC still officially went by International Watch Co. And in a lot of ways, this watch is a throwback to the resurrection of the Swiss mechanical watch industry in the late 1980s. As I said, there was a bumper crop of IWC complications coming out of that era. Also a bumper crop of super watches, everything from the Patek Philippe Caliber 89 pocket watch to the Blancpain 1735 Grand Complication to JLC's Perpetual Calendar Alarm Grand Revie. That was really the root of the modern high complication renaissance and IWC was leading the charge with the reference 375030 that you see here. This watch is available not just with that pretty cool century slide accessory but all boxes, papers, factory accessories and documents of provenance, an outstanding example of a landmark watch in the most desirable metal and dial combination. This IWC Da Vinci Perpetual Calendar Chronograph, reference 375030, just may be the historic collectible IWC you want.